بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله سورة الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سليلا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم ألف لام ميم تلك آيات الكتاب الحكيم هدى ورحمة للمحسنين الله عز وجل سنس ألف لام ميم These are the آيات These are the آيات of the wise book A guidance and a mercy for a guidance and a mercy for the muhsineen hudan wa rahmatan lil muhsineen a guidance and a mercy for the muhsineen the good doers wa man hum man hum al muhsinun who are these ones who are good doers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next ayah he gives us some indication of who they are allah azza wa jal he gives us some of their descriptions so we have to ask ourselves and we have to be very attentive to what is going to be mentioned because we have to ask ourselves, are we from them? Because we undoubtedly we want to be from them. But are we from them? Because if we are to be from them, then we have to have their characteristics. We have to have their traits. We have to have their attributes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ Those who establish the prayer. Those who they establish their prayers, and they pay their charity. Those who establish the prayers and they pay charity. And in the hereafter, they are certain. They have certainty as relates to the hereafter. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, as relates to these ones, these ones who establish the prayer, these ones who pay the zakat. These ones who they truly believe in the hereafter, in the hereafter they have certainty. Allah Ta'ala He says, Allah Ta'ala He says that these are the ones who they are upon guidance from their Lord. These are the ones who they will be the successful. These are the only ones who are the successful. Listen to their characteristics, listen to their description. Do we fit and do we meet these characteristics, these traits, and these attributes? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about those who are the occupants of the Jannah, those who are those who truly fear Him, those who will be in gardens of delight and in bliss. Allah ta'ala says, Inna al-muttaqina fi jannatin wa ayyum. That verily those who truly fear Allah, they will be inside of gardens, they will be inside of springs, they will be inside these gardens of bliss, they will have springs and fresh things to drink and so on and so forth that they will be taking they will be enjoying that which their Lord has given them that which Allah Azza wa Jal has given them 
muhsineen because before this they were good doers they were good doers again we come back who are these good doers men whom who are these ones what are their description allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a few more traits a few more characteristics of the good doers and we ask allah ta'ala to make us from the good doers allah ta'ala he says that it was only a little bit from the night time that they used to lay down. And in those hours right before Fajr, they used to ask Allah, forgive them. They used to make istighfar. They used to ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them. And inside of their money. And inside of their money. And inside of their money, there was a right. Inside of their money, there was an allocation. They allocated a portion of their wealth. For who? The sa'il. For those who ask for the wealth. Those who ask for money. Those who make it known that they are in need of help. What mahroom. And those who do not make it known that they are needing help. But they come to find out that they are in need of help. So their portion of their money is allocated to help those who need. Whether they ask or they don't ask. This is a characteristic that you find here mentioned in this ayah. And also you find mentioned in, and those who give charity. Ya ibadullah, it is incumbent and it is a must that we spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is incumbent and it is a must that we support Allah's religion by way of our wealth. It is incumbent and it is a must that we work hard and spend in those things in which is pleasing unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hada aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah ameen wa lakum wa li jami'i al-muslimin. Fa astaghfiru fa innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ma'ala rasulillah wa ba'i. Ya ibadullah. It is incumbent, it is a must that we spend in Allah's path. That we spend fi sabinillah. But at the same time, and I want to give some advice of caution, we have to be certain of who we give to when we are giving fi sabinillah meaning there are many who are upon online many organizations many individuals who they will solicit our financial help you have to be wise as relates to who you give it to as relates to those individuals who ask you if you don't know them don't give them anything those organizations if you're not familiar with them don't give them anything, but give to those organizations, give to those establishments that you know and that you trust. Because we live in a time where you have people, they will come under false pretense and they will act as if they are this way, when in fact they are another way. They will act and they will tell you that their cause is this, when in reality their true cause is that. More specifically, there are those who have a terroristic ideology those who are upon the way of the khawarij and they will set up false charities and they will solicit from you your money and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وَلَا تُبْتُوا سُفَهَا أَمْوَالَكُمْ and don't give the fools your money Allah ta'ala he commands us do not give the fools your money now who can be categorized as more being a fool than those ones who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he called them kilabu nar the dogs of the hellfire do not give these individuals your money because you, out of the goodness of your heart, you may want to give to what they call an orphanage or for an orphanage or for a school or for what have you. And then it ends up being going to fund ISIS or going to fund Al-Qaeda or going to fund Al-Shabaab. Now, for that little bit of money that you have given, you are spending years of your life inside a federal detention center because you have gone to help terrorism. So be wise. Don't give them your money. If you don't know who the organization is, do not give them your money. If you don't know who the individuals are, do not give them your money, not a red cent, as they say. But rather, focus your attention on establishing Islam in your own communities, in your own locality. Those masajid, those masajid that you know and you trust, that are in your area. Those schools that you know and you trust, that are in your area. Spend peace of upon the masjid. Spend peace of upon the schools. 
because this is establishing Allah's deen and know for surety if you Muslims do not establish Allah's deen here in Apaka, the Kufar are not going to come do it for you. You think the Kufar are going to come establish Allah's deen here for you? No, never. You have to put forth your effort bi'ithnillahi ta'ala. So support your local masjid. Support your local school. Support those masajid in those schools who are outside of your locality that you know and that you trust. Spin on the poor and the needy in your area. Spin upon the poor and the needy Muslims in your area. Alhamdulillah, we just gave the capital fitr. So this was an indication of those families who are in need of such. If you have something to spin, something extra to spin, spin upon them. Spin upon them. If you have some monies that you want to spend, then spin upon the general masses of the poor people. Whether they are Muslim or they're not Muslim, spin upon them. Peace of Allah. Soften the hearts of those non-Muslims to Islam. Because they see the kind, gentle treatment that the Muslims are giving to them when they're feeding them, when they're clothing them, so on and so forth. These are the efforts that we put our energy into. And when you put your efforts into benefiting your community and the empowerment of your own local community, then you're not going to have time to be given to some person that just actually solicits something from you inside of online, come inside of your messenger and asking you for this and asking you for that and giving you pictures of their hospital bill and of their so on and so forth. They can keep all of that. We don't have time for that. Because even if what they are upon is truthful and they are correct in what they're doing, it is not worth the risk that you may potentially be given to somebody that will get you in trouble, that will get your family in a bad situation. Do not take that risk. Make dua for them, make dua for them, make dua for them, but don't give them a red cent. Spend your money locally and spend your money with those you trust. Spend peace of any lie to support Allah Ta'ala's deen. Spend peace of any lie to support the Muslims. Spend peace of any lie through known organizations that are trustworthy, that are trusted, that are official. This is what we have to do if we truly want to benefit from every which way, shape, and form from that in which we put forward. عنوان السعادة ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار هذا يا عباد فأقيموا الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر